as we know, duct tape fixes everything. Hey guys, welcome to Organized ADHD Chaos. I'm Cindy. Today I have a bunch of errands to run, so I'll be taking you with me. Um, let's see, I need to go have a blood test, which means that I have not had food or coffee yet this morning. I also need to drop off a water bill, find out something about my child's contact lenses, and then go to Starbucks, because like I said, I haven't eaten anything or had coffee today. So, I'm trying this. This is the first time I have ever done any vlogging out and about. Um, so while I'm driving, anyway, let's get going. Bill delivered. Now let's see. I guess I should probably go to find out about the contact lenses next. I really just want to get the blood test done and get my coffee, but I don't really want to have to stop after I get the coffee, so I'll go ahead and take care of the contact lenses first. What happened was, I ordered a year supply, which is about four boxes, and so that would be two boxes for each eye. Well, two boxes arrived at my house, exactly the same prescription, and they were unmarked. It didn't say left or right or anything. And I thought that his prescriptions were different for each eye, so I figured this was one or the other, and when the other boxes arrived, they would say what they were, and then we would know. So then a couple days later, I get a call from the eye doctor's office that two boxes of contacts had arrived there. So I went to pick them up, and when they handed them to me, I saw that the top one had an R on it. So I thought, okay, these are the right ones, so the ones that arrived would be the left. When I looked at the boxes, the one had an R on it, and the other one had an L on it, but they were the same prescription, and they were a different prescription from the ones that arrived at my house. So now I need to find out, is one of the prescriptions for right eye and one for left eye, or was there a mess up, and I just need to find out, you know, which eye the contacts go to, because that's usually good information to have. You don't want to go putting the wrong contact in the wrong eye, because you're not going to see well at all. thing with doing things like this is I do have some social anxiety and I also have anxiety over making phone calls so I hate calling places to ask this information and I'm also you know worried that if I call I'm not going to be able to explain properly what I'm talking about and you know it'd just be a weird phone call to get oh I got these contacts and one's this one's this what what prescription I don't know <laughs> That's that's what goes on in my head when I think think about making calls is you know how the person on the other end is going to be like what is this woman talking about what an idiot and that just I don't know gets gets me very anxious thinking about it. Oh and then this morning my little tripod thingy I have this little uh tripod for for cell phones and it's got bendable legs which is supposed to be so that you can adjust well you can adjust the height that way but you can also wrap the legs around things to um, to secure it that way like say you want to hang your phone off a tree branch or something and it's well the tree branch has to be thin enough um, but then you can take the legs and you can wrap them around it in order to, you know, secure it that way. But one of the legs broke. I guess the wires on the inside, either I bent it or twisted it wrong or it wasn't very strong in the first place. So that's kind of a bummer because I've only used it, you know, a few times so far. 
but I also have plenty of duct tape at home and you know as we know duct tape fixes everything So you know how you're going along about your life and you know, driving along one day, minding your own business, and songs that you sang in choir in junior high start running through your head? Or is it just me? Funny thing is, that wasn't even um, the part that I sang. Or was it? No, it wasn't. I didn't sing that part, but that that little uh, little harmony goes through my head all the time. And yes, those were the words of that part too. Okay, well that was a very easy fix. Once I was able to properly explain what was going on. Well, actually, once she saw the stickers, she realized, you know, she knew what was going on. So now on to the lab. And the reason I'm getting these tests done, it's something we have to do every year for our insurance. Which basically is just a standard panel of blood work that really anybody, once you're of adult age, should be having regularly anyway. Um, so I really have no problem going for it. The insurance pays for it and all that. And I have heard of situations where they have found some serious illnesses that people had and didn't realize they had. You know, if it turns out something like this someday would save my life, I'm okay with doing it. All right, well, I'm done, and that was quick and painless. Hi, what can I get started for you? Could I get a venti cafe mocha and a blueberry muffin, please? Venti mocha and a blueberry muffin, anything else? Um, that, no, that's it, thanks. Okay, 784, see you later. All right, thanks. I don't know why my brain did that when she said, uh, when she repeated the venti mocha back to me, I thought she said venti cappuccino or something. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, so then I dorked out, you know, was a, no, that's a venti mocha. Uh, yeah, man, that's, that's what I just said. <laughs> oh. You know, I used to get very upset about stuff like that. But now it's like, you know what? I worked customer service. If somebody dorked out on me like that, I, yeah, it happens. <laughs> Plus, if you can't laugh at yourself, hmm. <sighs> if I couldn't laugh at myself, it would be a pretty sad existence because I give myself reasons to laugh all the time. Which is funny. It, it, I don't know why sometimes I'm okay with that, but with other things, I freak out about it. Like, well, well like I talked... Uh, there we go. Like I had said, um... It's funny. I don't know why sometimes I'm okay with stuff like that, and then other times I kind of freak out about it. Like I was saying before about making phone calls. For some reason that just really freaks me out. And I don't know why. Maybe it's, well then again, that was a drive through uh, intercom. I couldn't see the person on the other side either. I was thinking maybe it's because I can't see the person that I'm talking to. That it, it bothers me. But I couldn't see the person 
that I was talking to through the intercom either, so that doesn't make sense. Although there was a time I couldn't order through the intercom either. Or I couldn't order through the intercom if somebody else was in the car with me. I would have to make them order. Thanks, you too. Alright, I got my coffee. Got a muffin. I'm going to go home and enjoy those and then get to work on the other things I have let go. Learning new things is very good. It keeps the boredom away and... As I'm sure those of you who also have ADHD know, boredom is a very bad thing. Because a lot of times, um, <laughs> a lot of times for people with ADHD, when we wind up getting in trouble or having trouble in our lives, part of it is the overwhelming feeling because, you know, things build up, we get overwhelmed, and it's like, what do I do now? You know, I'm so overwhelmed, I can't can't possibly do all, all the things I need to do. And the other thing um, that tends to cause trouble is when we get bored. And then we can, you know, wind up getting into trouble. One thing that boredom does uh, to me is a lot of the household things that, you know, I have to do, obviously I find them boring. Who doesn't? But when I find them boring and I find myself looking for looking for ways to escape doing them, I wind up letting them build up and then that leads to the um, overwhelm feeling and it's... And then that becomes very, uh, very vicious. The, the overwhelming feeling that leads to a lot of anxiety and exhaustion and depression. So none of those are, you know, <laughs> obviously none of those are really great to have. I don't think anybody would say, oh yeah, that's, that's awesome. I want to wake up today and say, I think I would like to be depressed today. That would be the best. You know, obviously nobody does that. Who wants to go through that? So if, you know, now, now depression and anxiety, those are all medical conditions. Um, and a lot of times they do come from an internal chemical issue. But there are outside stimuluses stimuli, stimuli <laughs> that, um, that will exasperate, exasperate, that will exact, that will make them worse. Let's just go with that. Um, outside, outside things that will make them worse. Um, you know, so if we can avoid that, that's all the better because yes, your chemicals, um, affect your emotions. But your emotions will also, in turn, affect your chemicals, which becomes a, a, it can become a very vicious circle when you are caught in that trap of depression and overwhelm and anxiety, and you cannot claw your way out of it. Um, and meanwhile, the longer you're in that trap, the, the worse your chemicals are going to get. So, if you do have anything, um, any type of depression or anxiety, it's very important to have it treated immediately. Don't, 
don't let it get completely out of hand. Um, you'll find yourself a licensed therapist. They're, they're very wonderful with, um, diagnosing and can help you through therapy. And they can also, they can't prescribe medication, but they can refer you to somebody who can. And that way, you know, you're going to a doctor who is trusted by somebody that you trust. So that's my little PSA for the day about depression and anxiety and how you need to have it treated. You will hear me say that a lot because I truly believe that mental illnesses need, absolutely need to be treated because there is no reason that somebody should have to live their life feeling miserable because there is help out there and there are people who care. So if you find yourself in that situation, please get yourself, you know, get yourself into a, a treatment program. And, um, now I've, you know, sidetracked myself with that, but that's, that's okay. I think that's a very, very important message and it needs to be repeated often because I think that anybody who needs to hear it, I want them to hear it. So I will be saying it a lot. And now we're home, so I'm going to go inside and enjoy my delicious venti mocha and my blueberry muffin. See you soon.